In this video, I'm going to show you how to search for or find a well site. Uh, very easy, you can search for it anywhere by using the Find Places button up on the top here. So what that does, it opens up this window and uh, the Feature tab is usually the one that's, that, that's, been, uh, uh, that's active. And uh, in here you want to put in the name of the well. No, nothing in the city, province, country, nothing that, like that. We put it in quite simply. So we have the ability to type it in um, uh, by just front, front to back. Same uh, as you would actually uh, write it down. And you'll notice it. this is a database search. So it searches from the front to the back. It has to be perfect so to make it function. Otherwise you're going to get the, the wrong location. So uh, I'll just find uh, one that actually has a well. Here's got an actual well, 12 of 21, 61, 9. You can see that there's also finds the LSD. It finds west of the same LSD, west of the fifth, fourth, etc. Uh, this is the well that we're looking for. If I choose it and ask it to find it, it actually takes me to that location, complete with centering the map on that, on that spot. If I want to find out more about that, uh, open up some more properties of it, you can see that uh, it uh, again, it's the, the entire name, in this case 12 of 21, 61, 9, west of the 6th, 00, zero indicates that it's the first well in that LSD, WS indicating a well site, and Hunt Oil Company is the operator of the well. Presently, or at last uh, ERCB, um, designation, pumping gas, there's the license uh, date and the license number. If you scroll over to the side you can sometimes this is quite long you get the entire number and you can see here the strike zone in Alberta and the surface location. So even though the, there's a land location and a surface location could be different from that turns out that that's that little tiny directional drill line here and that uh, indicates that it's still in 12 of 21. That is how you would find the wall site. You could make a waypoint there like this. It automatically takes on the entire name, puts the same information into the comment section. You might want to change this for your own purposes to simply uh, 12 to 21. And you might want to add comments in there. And it could be just about anything. I typically uh, will we'll, uh, leave this in, in there and then add any kind of gobbledygook that you want. You can have virtually six pages of information there. Um, at the same time you might want to, depending on what it is that you're going to be doing there, it may be something that you're taking care of on uh, an environmental basis or it could be a lo location that you're just looking at, uh, what you're considering uh, for a job. So you could categorize the well at the same time. Uh, in addition to that, uh, you can also attach uh, to this waypoint any file that's in your uh, entire computer or even accessible through uh, the, the internet through a URL. So uh, you can link uh, a picture to it or another a spreadsheet that you would be uh, looking uh, uh, at filling in for safety purposes or for bidding purposes or anything like that. And you can attach all of that to this one waypoint uh, now or any time in the future. Uh, for the time being, all I'm going to do is say I created the waypoint, say OK, now I found that waypoint. You'll notice in the waypoint tab, I have a location that, uh, I've, that, that is the one I just created. If I move over here or move this bar, and you can see how I'm doing that just by clicking, holding it down. I can I can see the land location, uh, the position of it in Latin long decimal minutes, as well as the symbol. And I can go into this at any moment in time and change any of the uh, features of it, including perhaps uh, the status. So um, this is a, a pretty handy tool to to be able to look for that. Now, typically, you're going to try to get there from wherever you are. For instance. Uh, where we are at, at our office here. So not only are, can you f search for land location like that, but you can search for a lot of other things. And uh, as a, an example here, the patch map store, if I say find, finds it, I make a waypoint there very quickly. Okay. 
and by holding down my uh, left click button and dragging it over these two features right clicking and choosing create route I can actually create a route between these two I'm going it in the right order so I highlight one and use this uh, arrow key or invert if you only have the pair and I say recalculate it calculates it down the road gives me uh, turn by turn directions from end to end that are available on this tab there's your turn by turns there's the distance and there's the time that's going to take based on the uh, speeds that I have built into the into the routing tab from the previous video if I want to I can actually center each uh, I could say well where 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 we turn on to highway 40 where is that it'll actually center the map on that location which is right here we're coming off of 43 onto 40 even though it's a straight line and uh, I can use the down arrow key and it'll take me to all my turns uh, down the rest of the route all the way into the location okay there is how you find a well and direct traffic to it if you are going to for instance uh, want to um, uh, show uh, print that onto a map as well uh, I, I say sh select, show selected route on the map and you can see from end to end there there it is now it, at this zoom level there's not all that much detail so I could zoom into this section here as an example and see some more detail if I'm wondering you know uh, just for graphic purposes I'd like to be able to put on here what road it is I can just hit this it automatically takes in the fact that it's the Husky Road and I got a radio frequency attached to that road um, now this can be part of the print off even you'll notice here if I do the same thing here this is the where, where, Warehouser Main Road and again it's got a radio frequency attached to it so that can be visible um, this is the Rat Creek Road so I can do exactly the same thing here and uh, I'm just putting in spaces it kinda of bunches it up when it creates the waypoint if I want all the waypoints to be visible I can highlight them on the on this side here they turn yellow so when I go to print this off it, it actually uh, is, is uh, visible on the screen it stands out from the white background now under uh, file print preview I have the ability to decide how I'm gonna make it look we have on our website uh, the ability uh, we have a PDF that allows you to fill in a bunch of text at the bottom uh, quarter or so of the screen of a sheet of paper and put a map in there in the top well this doesn't fit very well so as an example I would go in under edit um, uh, print setup I would change this to landscape as an uh, as an idea here I would maybe uh, what I'm looking for on the screen here is a shape of this going to be about eleven eight and a half by eleven you would uh, memorize where this is going to go to f to make it work properly when you say print preview you get an idea of how full, how to fill it oh, I I could make it a little bit longer totally different looking now isn't it and you uh, just alter the uh, the the bar here until you uh, it fits to the way you would like it to be printed out I haven't printed anything yet we like that we'd say print from here and it would print either to a PDF file that uh, that if because we also include the cute PDF writer on the DVD I would allow you to print it to a PDF and then email it to someone or you could print it out on hard hard copy at this time and have the ability to include it with your your uh, turn by turn directions that you would send uh, with the job uh, sheet and that's how you find a wall site and uh, get you there